guys, Test Tube here, and welcome to the final game of game number six. This is where we all come down here, as right now the Minnesota Wilds and the Jets are ready to rematch here again, another USA versus the Canadian team. This is where it all comes down to this. This will be a win or go home for Minnesota. They've won the last game in a shootout over with the with part of the game on Winnipeg. Now, this is the question. Will they have the win or will they lose another game and will be ready to take it on with the next part of the game as you will be seeing the next one coming in for the Winnipeg to play against the number team of the victim run of a score over against the Avalanche. There might be another way that we might be seeing what's going on and whatsoever they might have another way to get it done. We'll find out what happens here if the choice comes down to this. Now, standing by, I will have the next play playing of the commentary I will have is OJ. Along with me, Phone 4, and the center ice is Son of Beast. I will be back with the post game show one last time, and then that will be it for this part of the game. And stay tuned, we got game 6 coming up in between the Knicks and the Cavaliers at the Garden, and on the other side, we have the Clippers at home to play against the Phoenix Suns at Crypto.com Arena. And the part of the next game, as we take a look here for, for the next game, first round, sorry, second round, first game, as we see the Bolts and the Bruins for here at TD Garden Arena. That'll be the first one coming in to check it out what we've got. Now, let's get into the game. Guys, all you, enjoy. Hello everyone, OJ here, and we are back at Canada's Life Century. The Jets and the Wilds are ready to prepare for fight. This is Game 6, win or go home for Minnesota. Buck about to be set and we are underway. For the courtesy lineup as being here as far, we have his Kirk Kirk Then we have his Matt Zuccarello. For the other side, we have again, we have his Tobias. And it's the Mello right towards the wing. Kyle Carter is the fast wheels of his head of the game. Right on the other side is Gustafson. Middleton is right towards the wing. And across the other hand, we have our, our, on the other side, we have his Spurgeon. And Hartman towards the right. Across the angle, we have his Kaprasov. Really running right it! What about Fry for Kaprasov? He had that score earlier and made that one a good shot. I can say that Kirill Kaprasov got a pretty good game out of it. Remember from the last game here from game four, they made a win here in, against the other team of the Winnipeg Jets that would rarely take over from their line and try to knock them out to spoil them down. They were really on a hard team. They, they, they never really made it that far, honestly, without, without being questions being asked. They were really are trying to like settle them down. But as you can't remember what was going to happen, they were really are trying to get this thing all over it again. Now on the other side, we have is Kyle Connor. That blocks a shot. And Hellebuck is a starting goaltender for the Jets. Spurgeon has the crowd puck, now take it over to Erickson Eck. Erickson Eck moves around the net. That blocks it up and, and carry it by DeMello. Foligno with the puck. Shot stop made by Hellebuck. Here's Wheeler towards the right. With that one, he moves right over to Tobias. Tobias right toward the middle. On ice in the wing. Looking for a stick left, and there's the penalty call. They will be holding up here with a stick clip with a slash, and now beyond Jacob Middleton. He's going into the penalty box. That's what's going to happen again with Middleton. And now in here, he's like a dog down there, and he's right after you. But I, I've never said say anything about the dog because they were really a funny out of it. Oh, uh, don't be relaxed out of it. I just never heard of it. <laughs> Now they have it on. Dumbo lost the puck. Here's Wheeler! Gustafson save! And they will hold the puck in with 16.44 to go. 
Now that we're ready to rage, rage things up here in the face of soul. I am so sorry to all of you, the Tampa Bay fans. With that one being said, we've had the biggest upset of a disappointment game. Now they never made it to the, the second round. We've got the least. Moving on to the second round to face against the winning team. And this was a biggest moment that they ever made it here since for the first time since 2004. That was the longest play that the Leafs had made all the way down and tried to pass it clear. I can definitely say that Toronto Maple Leafs are very that tough to be honored out there. They were really a good team. But it looks like the one Canadian team is out. There's only two Canadian teams left. The Edmonton Oilers and the Toronto Maple Leafs. These are the only two ones left because Winnipeg Jets are out. But we're not sure what will happen for this game here. Now here's the other side of the angle. Spurgeon has it out. Fires it around the net. Kick the puck, puck over again. Shaw trying to deliver it out. The Dryers got the puck now in and rolling into the zone. Give off to Wheeler. Wheeler shot stopped by Gustafson. Trying to hold it up towards the right, right of the angle and will hold the puck with 15 12 to go. Now they're ready to take the face off into the zone. It's still one nothing lead. They're still looking for a power play goal to tie it up. Powder right to Morrissey. He's almost ready to go out there. Dubois shot around him. Oh, it's the big save. The power play comes to the advantage over for the Minnesota as right now they are on the full strength. They're a very good job out there keeping up the good run here. Keeping the buck out of the zone, and they were really are trying to keep it right untight. The square and behind it, and it's just a very that tough to try to make that win inbounding. Double fights Foligno. Foligno went towards the wing. Wing in the corner right now is the mellow. Reach back across to Wheeler. Wheeler towards in the wing. Try to stop the player inbound. And Feligno got it away. Feligno still holds on to Broden. Now towards the right side, we have his Boldy right into the wing. Tumelo has the puck. Pass it to Byers. Fires it around the net. And Dumba has it right towards the corner. Trying to stop the puck out there. Here's Boldy right towards the outside. In the wing. Right to Hampson Egg. Hellebuck got a good piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Haroon fired around the net. Try to blow up the Dumba. Now you'll swing it off to Erickson Egg. Nyquist fires in the airway. Morsi has it all along the board. Winnipeg right towards the offense now, making their way towards the Wilds territory. Gruderer battling for the loose puck. Middlesbrough has it right in court. Battling again for the loose puck. Milton trying to put a stop on it, and Coleman has one. Morrissey with the puck. Now fights Coleman, shot. It's blocked. Nyquist got the puck here right towards the middle, and now in the offense zone. With a shot, plus saved by Hellebuck. 11 12 to go. Right now, we are looking for another play to take the inbound to tie the game. All officials are getting ready to get set here on ice. They still have a 1 0 lead for Minnesota. Harmon wins the face off, and Middleton has it right outside. It's Virgin. Covers off shot. Now it gets blocked up here by a double man traffic. Here's another angle. They're trying to look for room. Pass to the Dreiner. Oh, went bang down. And Gustafson had that one with a huge save. That's a tumbling down. He, he went badly down here and he was getting a little blocked out of it by Mike Skywell. Skywell was just saying, okay, it looks like it, Will Lake is going to give me a hurt. I think that's going to be a very painful for him. And now they send him to the locker room. We are not sure what will happen and I'm... Well, I'll have to keep an eye on the update for Skyfella. Covers off right towards the wing inside the zone. 
Dillard over to the Dryder. The Dryder trying to look for the offense side and pick up the run. Inside Ellers. Shot. Stop. Bay. Zuccarello would back the air away on the angle. Spurgeon takes the puck. In the attacking zone, Spurgeon to Kaprasov. Shot stopped by Ellerbuck. We'll hold the play with under with under mid period to go in the first. We've got a one nothing lead. Now on the other hand, they will be ready to take it over one by one. Here's Heyman. Addison, what a block! Now here's here's another angle here. And Pianco have it now outside. Trying to make a run to Stenland. Stenland towards the wing. In the inside zone. Got blocked up again by Gustafson. Covers off right towards the wing. A little bump out of it, but now in the wing. Recovering the puck is Gustafson. Gustafson to Stenland over again to Manalian. Manalian had that one puck right in the middle. Dewar has to take it over. Addison has the puck. Now we'll try to like scoop it around over it again to Reeves. Reeves keeps losing it. It's Klingberg with the airway back over it again to Shaw. Shaw shot! Right on the front of it! It's stopped by Hellebuck. Got a little hard on that one because if Hellebuck was keeping it over from the line, this setup change is never going to keep on losing it. They've really got a good setup chain. They have it all. Hellebuck will hold the puck here with saving made by 7.15 left to go in the first period. It's still a 1-0 game. Now with the calling of this one, Karel Kaprasov has a lot of the wheels to take over with the game. He made his first goal, but his total issue in the playoffs has five goals in the playoffs in this game. Karel Kaprasov might be changing it up again to go for another one. And Connor Hellebuck has gotten a great saving with his X-ray vision to take over with the shot. This hard one is a taking inbound, elevated progress to go with another change-off routine. With a crossing saves in between, one of the players are going to keep on inbounding and try to take them over. I'll be watching here for Carol Kaprasov and with Hellebuck to take over for the other side. Back to you. Gruder must waste the knife quest now over into the to the Jets' territory. Shot stopped about. Sogbass! Oh, a big stop! And oh, puts it back again. Brought in the Dumbo. Dumbo the night quest right towards the right side. Now Dumbo has one. Takes the Gudera. Gudera gets punched out. Gudera and Wheeler takes it over. Trying to move around the net. Shot, stop, buried. Dumbo reached the cross towards the Jets' territory. Demolo. And Connor will have it over again to Doug Byers. 5 10 left to go. Connor reached the backhand. Blocked the shot by Broden. Reaching towards the offense zone. Here you have his archer deck. That gets rejected up to Hellwell. Gets the puck in the whistle and play with under siege, and we are ready to take off for another faceoff. Both teams are ready to take their run. As right now, they still have a one nothing lead for the Minnesota Wilds. Eric wins it. That goes right towards the glass. Boldy, covered up in the corner, now finds Baru. Now kicking it over is Coleman. Coleman trying to reach over it again. Middleton has the one. Archinek will take it right towards the back over to Foligno. Shot! Glove saved by Elba. We'll hold on to the chest with under four minutes to go. Easy to make that one save. Got a good catch. Try to hold the puck without losing it. That's a great idea to keep that one right towards the outer line. And then when you make that play in bounding, you just got to show off your right timing to make that one possessive more Here's another angle. Archinette. Get a little bumped out physical contact. Coleman takes it over. Did not see where the puck was going, and now Boldy takes it over. Now moves it over to Falegno. 
Fire the runner there. Gamelo has the puck right towards the corner. Winner of this game right over here will be facing on against the Colorado Avalanche in the second round of the first game. Foligno. Over right now back to Shaw. Shaw fires it around the net. Trying to reach it across again. Here's Lowry to Bowen. Maroon right towards the wing. Shot stopped by Gustafson. Now towards the other way. Here we have another one for Reeves. Reeves looks forward with the offense run. Stenlund has one. Now we are putting it up another part of the battle division to go down towards the end hill. Maroon shot. Nowhere to be found back to Piok. That shot goes wide. The stop set right over to Stenlund. Stenlund to Maroon. That gets blocked. They're shooting it like craziness everywhere for the block team behind the net. They wasn't able to make a precision out of it with the attackers. They just really wanted to say, Oh, we've still got a lot of time to do. They have to keep on training. We got no rights to do this. We've got to keep it going. 47.5 seconds left to play in the first period. Now here's Pio going over to Connor. Trying to get back into the offense zone. Kyle Connor. Trying to get the puck steal from Capazel. Scoop up along the board by doing. Now finds over Wheeler. 10 seconds left to play in the first period. He fires it the other way. Zagrell gets smashed and blocked the shot. That will end the game here as the one nothing score from Kerpersov has gotten them great wheels to make a fast start for the first period. Be right back after this. Second period is coming up next. Back in now for the second period of the game. And we're all set, ready to go here in the second period. The score is a 1 0 game. And we got another late penalty coming up for Minnesota. Yeah, this is what the call is. It's going to be a slashing call. And Carrillo Kaprizov is in the penalty box. Right now, the Winnipeg Jets are on the power play. We're getting ready for the first one. To take it in there to tie the game up. Now they're up and set, ready to take the face off and the puck. Right now, here's Morrissey. Shot! Rebounded Dumbo with a stop out of it with a down bound. We'll fire the puck all the way out. And Morrissey has the puck. Now back to Lowry. Swing it again to Tobias. Tobias got a little bumped out. And pass is broken up. Middleton brings it over to Eric Snack. Eric Snack lost the puck. Try to keep it alive. Hold on a minute. Whoa! That was close. Oh, ho, ho. I, I better see this what happened. Oh, man. I think the, the puck was right near the goal line. When he lost that puck in second, he just didn't really notice. That puck was right in there, but it would have been out of here. That was a close one. Wow. That was very, very close. Uh -huh, yeah, I, I had to look at the replay again. So we got to look at the camera one at a time to challenge that. Mm, yeah, I, I think we should. We might have to give that one a call here. So if Centerbeast could give that one an answer, we could definitely go with that one. And another penalty call. That will be another one for slashing. That will be Jonas Broden. In the penalty box. Now in a five on free play. It's going to be a tough one here for tonight. And you know it. They're definitely out there for one single time. Alright. Let's have a look and see what is going on you guys. So let's have a look at what. Before we get to the power play right now with the five on free advantage. Here's what happened to Morrissey. This shot was from this angle right towards the wrister. When he has that one puck right towards it from the goalie, he had it right towards it and it hit from smacking from the helmet and then it went toward behind it. He went bumped up a little bit because he was right toward it. And as you could tell from this back around the play where Gustafson had that one close call, he was right toward it. It went banging right towards it from the, 
you know, right from the shoulder, right near the mask, because that was a very tough one to call. Now watch what happens here with the puck. Watch here. You see that? Because he was right towards there, and that, that was very close, because that should have been called a challenge right over here in this angle. They should have let that one know, because that was in there, right towards the line. That one should have been a power play, and that would have been a power play goal for the, for the wild, wild, crazy part of the game, and tie the game up here by one. They should have that one here with the power play goal. And that was very that tough. With the puck, he was sliding it across. He was really like tipping toward the angle here. And toward the line of it, that was very close. He did not see that where he was going. But what the problem is right from the angle on the other side, he was never seeing it come along that way. On the other angle, it was from the other one that was hit right towards around the shoulder. He missed that catch. He did not see where he was going. And he was going to try to reach it out there and says, give me that one here. Really close. Yeah, I, I definitely did see that one here. It was very that close call. And when you could tell if about the other side of it, you wouldn't be able to see what was going on. That play in this inbounding was right towards here. This line, ooh, that was very, very close. And that was very that tough. Yeah, the other angle was very that badly. It's not very that tough that nobody has ever seen it. Well, as you may have just heard of it here, just from my, and behind from the goalie net, you could definitely tell about right around the angle of it from the shot. It's wicked up, and it was right near it. That was should have been in there, and, and you know, that was very close. A close ranging of the angle of the sight was very tough, and you know, that tough one really did turn it to be a very, very odd on the shade. Wow. That was tough. Yeah, I have to agree with that one to admit. There, back to you all. Alright, thanks for the call there, Son of Beast. Now we're in for the 5 on 3 attack. And right now, they're ready to take it on. Morrissey to Ellers. Right to corner shot. Good save! Backed it out, and it went right towards outside of the net. Now moving back into play with under 18 minutes to go. Looks like the 5 on free attack could be done. Here's Lowry towards the deep pass. Klingberg, fired across. Now they have a one man advantage to take the power play. Morrissey grabbing it over again to Lowry. Lowry looking it over. Short, stop by Gustafson. We'll hold him up for the play for in between for just about 17.23 to go. This was the closest part of the game. We did check the replay from the home of the goalie, goalie camera system. That was very that tricky because that was very tough. They wide off the angle and went bang. Now they have the goal! Power play advantage for Ellers! Tied it up by one! That's what you call it. There it is. Nikola Ellers, power play in the net. Now they're on the board. It's once. Yep, there you go. Now with the power play goal, now it comes to a successful moment. They're coming in to take it over, and for Lowry, they're getting it done. Now they're ready to get his name back in the game. It's the bio shot, stopped by Gustafsson. Middleton with the puck, released over to Sunvest. Aiden in the neutral zone in the Jets territory. Now Dubias has it across to DeMello. And an away penalty called again for Minnesota! Oh boy, this is a nightmare. They're never going to see what was coming down next. Now another penalty call. We got another slashing call. And back to the uh, play is Songvets. He was very complaining, a little disregarding. He is not happy of what his behavior does turn out. This might be the end for him. And we may not know if he's going to keep it alive to do it again. Now we're ready to do another face-off in between. The score is tied up. Looking for another power play goal. Here's Middleton. He fires it across right towards the Jets territory. Right over to get is Schmidt. Coleman with the puck now towards the middle of the center. For the shot, Gustafson save. 15.50 left to play in the second period. 
they still have a lot of time left to think about it ahead. They now they still do have another face-off to get right to this game. Now here's Broden. Fires it around the way. Along the wall, we have a cross here is Schmidt. And Anderson Knight takes it away. Detroiter right towards the way on the uh, inside. In the wilds of territory. Shot stopped by Gustafson. Oh, poked it out of here. Very close call. You might want to give that one a little credit to that, Brad. Because they're very uh, tough at inbounding to the players. They could be going for the hit and take them out of there where they can. Here's Wheeler towards the outside. Back along the cage is Smith. Moves it quickly over to Gustafsson. Gustafsson! Hey, Gustafsson, say! Holding him at 14 36 remaining in the second period. With the better play of this eye of ability, Rons, it's all tied up. One and one. The next goal could be two to one. Now Dumbo will have it over to Shaw with the win. Right toward the back of that. Looks like he's almost ready to go. Some best. Back to Lowry. Man advantage is over for the Minnipeg Jets, and now they're even strength. Left save by Gustafson. 14 or 8 to go in the second period. Looking for more room to get a goal. Now up to another face-off into the offense way. Now with the win, here's Middleton. Pass to Boldy. Boldy getting a little ball block. Here's Wheeler towards the way. Wait the shot, goes to his save. 13-39 to go in the second period. Looking to be at a better play in the attackers, they're really going to need to keep on going. Now they're ready to do one again, and right now it's 13 39 to go in the second period. Now he's going to go up with Spurgeon. Spurgeon getting a little bumped out. Dubai is throwing over it again. Slump shot went too wide, and Spurgeon takes it over. He fires it around the net, and it'll go out to Morrissey. Morrissey over to get to the ball up. The bias right towards the wing. Shot! Stop by Gustafson! Under 13 minutes to go in the second period. Still tied up. We have never made it to the midway period in the second of this frame. They still tied up the game. The next goal could be it once again. We could be finding out who will go to the second round. They try to rally shot! Stop by Gustafson! Thus, it's still getting a lot of uh, intentional work out there. I mean, they're still getting a lot of it done. But don't get in mind it for me, because they're very that tough in shape. And especially if they do, then they're going to have to get that, that one done, and they then get it right out of here. Well, yeah, definitely they, they do. Spurgeon and Zuccarello. Zuccarello right around the man, and Pion takes it over. Pion right over again to the Trider. Now Lowry in the middle. Back to the Dreider. Ellis, what a great diving block saved by the chest. Almost got hit by the head. Well, yeah, that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to get over right over this one. Because if you do, then you could get hit by the head. Ellis right towards along the center of the wing. Ellis trying to look over to the open side of the office to Diller. Diller shot. Scores! Nick Dreider! That's a spark lead the king! And excellent for the Dreider. I have that replay inbounding because when the Dreider has it all, that plays this one put us a snipe in a goal. Assisted by Dylan and an Ellers, that pulls up with a great play of this Jack run. They're all inbounding. They definitely do one of a kind. As for him, he puts him up with a great stop for the Dreyer to pick up the lead. I'll be watching him during the period. Back to you guys. We're going to the puck is voted. Now Manalian to Stenlin. Near the goalpost. Gustafson will hold on with only 10 4 near in the midway period.
And the puck wins. Dunbar takes it over. Now here's Songbest. Songbest towards the way. Shot stopped made by Helma. Broden, stick with it, and a great play here. Manelli has the puck here right across the way. Goes for the shot. That's still stopped again by Gustafson. Stanley right over to Manelli. It's bumped up. And Stenland has the puck. Stenland to Melanian. Shot right to Dwight. Here's another angle here as Sunvest has the puck. Rolling over towards the inside of a way middle. Knife quest. Shot stop made by Hellebuck. Melanian right over to the end of Sandberg. The Jets regain their offense zone in the Minnesota Territory. Minnesota is moving ahead right towards the Jets' territory. Addison shot stopped by Hellebuck. We're only under eight minutes to play in the second period. You can tell that Hellebuck was making a great quick reaction. Right towards it from the chest that he was making a great save out of it. When he gets there in front, he can try to like sneak him up over it. They're still getting it over it done. They're just getting it right away. Keep that one good as long as they get. Here's Carter with the puck right towards the offensive away. The players stop at the pad saved by Gustafson. Connor blocked the shot. Boldy torts around the other way, fires it around the net. Here's the mellow with the puck. Swings to Morrissey. Back to Connor. Connor racing towards in the inside. Finds Wheeler. And Boldy lost the puck here and now goes right over the other way. Ouch that. Shot stopped by Elba. Worst he has it in right now in the Wilds territory. The corner. A little blocked up in front of it. And Boldy will try to take it over. There's a lot of great defenses to take over with the river. They've really got a lot of it down. But they don't want to keep that one messing it up if they wanted to get this thing done. They really are doing a lot much better than playing in the game five of this part of a wild saving run of the focus. Hellers has scored! Two goals in the game, and they have now a three to one lead. Oh, that Ellers got a good look out of it. Right over from the goaltender, and it was right in towards the net. 525, we got a great start and a wild run could be leading off with the Jets to move on to the second round to face against the Colorado Avalanche. Spurgeonis and Guello. Ellers has the puck taken away. Now Dylan has the puck. Reaching over across to the driver. Now into the wings territory. Spurgeon has the puck now right into the wing. Finds Middleton over again to Zuccarello. Now the Wilds are bringing in to the offense run. In the Jets territory. Disconnecting the feed. Aeon swings to do it. Here's Lowry the other way. And now he's in a way. Looking for him. And the Tigers. Baroon shot. Oh, Gustafson save. He still want to give that one a go. The advantage, I think the Wilds are like done for the season. They never got there that far in the second round because they've always got stuck up in behind of it and they're looking for another way to get back in the game. Lowry wins the face off and Bianca has one now. Knife quest. Over to Middleton. Middleton right over with the other side. Bianca right towards the wing. 3.05 left to go. Pulls it with a cross with a firing puck as he goes down right towards the neutral of offense zone. Now resetting the courage is Nyquist. Nyquist fires the puck around the net. Deal it over to get a corner. Middleton with the puck. 2.10 left to go in the second period. Takes it over to Sandberg. Sandberg in the middle. Gustafson stop me. 
Oh, it's just getting a little bit piece of that one. When he ever makes the goaltender to try to re react it quickly, he was able to go right with, with the speed. That is a very tough one in anyone getting it right through it. Now, of course, the run on Alamayer with the stop made. And now, one more game we have is Kyle Connor. Winnipeg back in the Wilds territory. Shot stop made. We run in front of it. It's off again. We pass out of a minute to play in the second period. All right now, Dumbo Cross. Stop again by Hellebuck. Sandberg still making his way right towards the attacker line. Up and over with the shot. Stop by Gustafson. Shot over again to Brody. Broden right over again in the offense wing. Off is the territory line. And Alabuck save. Five seconds left to play in the second period. Eric Sinek with a post beater. Great play by Hellebuck. Two periods complete. We are down to the final period. 3 1 is where we left off in the score. Jets could be moving on. And we'll find out if they move on to the game. Let's get the third period started when we come back. It's the final period of the third. And we have already been seeing the best games in this highlight series at the run of the Jets and the Wilds. The Canadian team moving on to the second round to face against the winning team of this game of Colorado Avalanche. Another USA versus the Canadian team. They're really that tough and for the better of the score of this offense, they've really been one of the bestest. And as for adaption, they really have done a lot of great hustling and bounding. They've been doing the best thing of an all of encouragement. We love seeing him with a lot of players that turn up to be a power play goal and a tough ones out there in the first period but it's very too close. I might say is this one here, is this the turn out that you all going to believe? Well, if you think it is, well, you might just figure it out that this was very close call. Yeah, I agree because that was very that, very that tough of the angle at this point. What we find out? We'll find out. What will happen here for the next part with the goal. Hopefully, we will get there just in no time. With the continue of the game, we have this hard man. Shot stopped by Hellebuck. Continuing the play, we have his Hollers. I was trying to look over with the other way. The attack, ooh, got a little bit bumped over. Spurgeon gives off to Zuccarello. Zuccarello on the move. Giving up the run, we have his Pion. Pion trying to go over to Lowry. Lowry towards the corner. Give it up the middle. Allen is stopped made by Gustafson. 16.28 to go in the third period. Right now, it is still a 3-1 game. The centers are gliding in to get ready for the face-off. Now they have Middleton. Here's Spurgeon. Over to Boldy. Boldy trying to look for somebody open. And Foligno has one. Shot stop made. Over again to Eric Sinek. Shot stop again. Now Foligno. Right across to Boldy and oh, bigger shot here. Now Foligno will have to try to recover it. Looks like the defenders are getting a little bit tired here. They're getting a little bit off and in and towards the out of the player. I mean, this can be very a tough call, but they are trying to lose it up. Drill Linden. Dylan is in the penalty box that calls for the interference on Winnipeg. And this is not very that good. They can't even just explain it, what just really had happened. With the pushing of the call, this one will be calling for the Winnipeg penalty kill, as right now the Minnesota power play are on the line. It's Klingberg. Shot stop made for the Hellebuck save. They still have it out again. Now it's Morrissey. And he will fire it along the way. To give it a play and back. We have Klingberg over to Foligno. 
trying to find the right next move. Harmon's shot off again on the skater, and it goes right over the wall. Fires it around the net. Will now swing it up across to Klimberg on the other side of Kudera. Stanley has the cover. And Gustafson will have to wait from here because the man was getting a close, almost would have been a short-handed goal. Now they're ready to do it our face-off here in a transition. In the wild territory, it's still a 3-1 to game for the Winnipeg Jets. Klingberg will try to hold it with the puck now in facing in the Jets territory. Klingberg, great stop by Hellebuck. Arvin trying to move it over back to Klingberg. Shot! Rebound it up again, Hellebuck save! We're only down on almost 14 minutes in the game and it's still a 3-1. to one. They are getting lucky. They really have a lot of it. Now with DiMolo to Schmidt. Fires across. Behind the net. And Addison has it. Addison swings to Boldy. Boldy back over to Zuccarello. Zuccarello to Boldy. Shot. And he scores. They got a power play goal. And Matthew Boldy are putting it back down by one. Well, the honest answers are getting a little bit across the back to back zones. They got a power play goal in the first period. But now. Happy Boldy and her team has a, has a power play goal in the third period. That's a little bit different and they're, they're trying to get it over it. Here's another shot for Connor, stopped by Gustafson. Holding a play with 13.20 to go in the third period. Still getting a lot of the time right now, with only 13.20 to go, it's a 3-2 game. Another shot made. Spurs yard over to get over into middle. Ten. And Kaposov. Kaposov looking towards the open player. Connor takes it over. Trying to swing a pass over again. We're under 12 30 to go in the third, third period. Regrouping us to Bios. Back to Connor. Connor trying to look it over towards to get the Tobias. Shot! And stopped by Mike Gustafson. They're still getting another attacking, just getting ready to go for another faceoff. Here's another faceoff win. Slap shot went too wide. Spurgeon takes over it again to Karpasov. Karpasov right towards the wing. Shot stopped made by Hullabuck. Now we're going to Lowry. Neutrider has the puck. 11.20 to go in the third. Rolling to Ellers. Trying to make a stop and shot stopped made by Gustafsson. 11.06 to go in the third period. Still getting warmed up here and they are just coming back. I have exactly. I know that's a very tough one to make a decision out there, but don't have to be surprised at being uh, judged all the time. Maybe there's one way that we can help you. Oh, probably there might be another way that we can give it that one and replay to enjoy it. Mm. Yep, definitely too. Shot went to Y. Lowry has the puck here now in the corner of the wall. Stop it. With the puck carry. In the middle. Shot stop made. Nyquist. Over to Sunbets. Shot stop and Lowry has the puck back. Passing the midway period in the range. Spurgeon. Tugger shot. Stop by Ellenbuck. Oh man. Ellenbuck was getting it crazy already. It's just like catching it. Deeper Fox. Another zone face off win as right now is Donato. Falling though, Lowry takes the puck away. Now in a wing, Ellers gets bumped up with a stick. That will be up into the netting in our play. 
Now they're waiting for their turn to get right into the game. We passed out a 930 left to play in the third period. Move across the middle. Stop again. Minnesota moving it back to the airway in the our offensive territory. Great stop, but they have the goal. Who tied up now? Uh, this is not very good there, there, OJ. I don't think this is not that very good. Well, I have to think about it now. It looks like they're losing a lot of it. Precious of a sandwich, is it really? I mean, this might be just one way, but the, the, the small fire could not go in. But it could be that card to just try to, like, find out who will take the win. Yeah, definitely true. Yeah, I, I can't do that one anyway. Now here's Boldy. Boldy over again to DeMello. DeMello. Back around the goaltender to Maui. Maui to Sunblunt. Now back into the battle of the course of across the wall. Finds out to neck. Eck! Shot went to Bright as all of will hold the save. And they still have it out there and kept alive. Bumped around. Now he's another way for right now for Pat Burgeon. Try to look over with the puck and try to find somebody open right around it. Now it over way on the other side. Try to get the goal! Now Arbanize went in there and they now have the lead up front. Oh boy, the, the revenge out there, just say that whatever you get through, Ryan Arvin, just take the goal. Now up to another one and they are up in the lead four and three. They could have a chance to tie the game. Now here's the other one that we are calling for. Well, it's been a tough one. I've been, I have been saying about this part of the game, this was the very roughest matchup that they have ever faced it. Just along the hedge, and part of the corner, they dove it. Now over the edge, we have Sotheby standing by for Kirill Kaprizov. Kaprizov has amazing fast wheels to pick up the possession with the play drive. He's very that well at being honest and helping the team out with the current bit. They're very doing like they did the best day in the world. But they are giving us up and do it again. This is And And stop made by Gustafsson. Arvin shot. Rebound it again and now back to corner. Here's our angle play for the Jets. Five minutes to go with the play in the third period. It gets blocked. Done by Oregon to Harbin. And try to look over to Zuccarello. Shot by Mr. Gann as right now. Sorry, Master Master Mays has not only been carried up. Here's right fit. Here's the bait. Lowry over again. To the driver. Now here's Lowry. Try to pick up an amount. And Sandberg. Right across towards the wing into the net. Ooh, close. Yeah, it's very that tough when everybody was thinking of it without trees. They could definitely be bumped up. I never know. But this way it just have to happen. We gotta roll with it. We know what have been passing. Now we're coming back down to just three points left. Still a lot of time left to play for the hockey and for the playoff game inbound. Now here's Schmidt. Schmidt pass over to Carter. Carter on the way. Bumped up again. Kyle Carter. Goodbye. 
Sub stop by Dive Quest. He's still looking for his every year and to up the run and try to pull him up and go right towards game seven. I mean, they're really uh, attempting right now, but if, um, if you keep it right towards the offense with you, it is very that tough to try to find it out. Now, Slashy gets a call here for Kyle Cutter. It's only 2.29 to go. Now he's another one for the win. And Slashy is called here in the late penalty for Winnipeg, and the power play is on for Minnesota. Two minutes to go in the third period. Try to watch it for the uh, angle carefully. Shot stopped made by Skinner. Now with the puck back. Now right over it again. Try to move it swing for back to back feet of his own. Baldy shot. Zuccarello, love save by Alabuck. Big time of stop. They really are doing it really well. I hate to tell you this one, because whenever we get the get the goals right away, they're just waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah. I definitely do feel okay. But it's all I would have to say because everyone is I teeth to get about me. And that's what I really need. It's the key that you Now we have another goal and Bolindo! They have extension, they are gonna upset the score over the Jets. Well, I guess they have to say good night to the Jets. And hopefully they'll be ready for game number seven. That's the same thing, just like we noticed for the last previous game, as we remember. Now he's another one from the other side. Runner ready to go in the third period. Jeanette, barely. Now he's another one here for you. Ice just trying to fly him across. Passing 30 seconds right now. And right now with the full goal, and they just have it all. Matthew Boldy. Has just been done with a win. Yeah, it's terrible it happens already. It looks like the the team cannot make the successful win. That's it. No, no, what we have is. Don't want that. I don't know. Now we're going to win, and this one will be on another bucket list to head back to Minnesota. And I will do here. Game 6 was a shocking run. And I don't know what to tell you, but it was very not close call, like it did. Well, as we said right now, this has been a great part of your community throughout your life. And the lovers, fans, we crying to go and grow loud, but it was a hard one to maintain. Well, that's for you, there, son of beast. That's what you always gotta do. Try to move it away, and it's a six to three final score. Well, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you all again next time for the next part of the game. Now, that one, here's where your final fought three stars of the game, because there is a tough one that we are never able to be seeing, and what's going on so ever to make that tough play inbound. And yeah, I will have to say this one because that will be a tough one to try to take this over and over and under it.
So that about wraps it up with B O J and B and B O J and Fan along with the other guys. We'll keep your eyes tuned here for the next part of the game right after this. Alright, thank you guys so, so much right now, and now I'll close off with the three star players of the game. And as of right now, we're about to get this thing set. Uh oh. Now they will try to maintain this offense and they will be ready to put it in there like a man of a minute. And there you have it, folks. The game six is now tied up for the series with the score. Third star, let's have a look. We've got Kirill Kaprizov. A goal, two hits, and two assists. Actually ran off and tried to put a little dump over it to try to, like, bang it out. The second star goes to Philip Gustafsson. 51 saves. And first star goes to Nikolai Ellers. Two goals and a hit. Assist. I hope everybody's enjoying your day. And please don't forget to uh, get your tickets now here at msandy.com slash tickets. You can only find us at the Saving Media Center. But for 2 p.m. at the Gerald W. Lynch Theater, still only uh, the ones left. All the tickets are already sold out. No excuses to make that one as well as often. So you want to make sure you just click on one of each, and there might be another way to save another one for today. All right, and now we have it all standing out. Test tube, we're all good to go. All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you, uh, everyone. Good night in Winnipeg. And for you, always, you all just made show it up in no time. Thanks for joining us, and I'll see you again next time. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs in the A Sports style. Thanks for watching. The series tied is going to be a tough one here for tonight. Now, we're ready for game seven to finish a win to get in. See you all later, everyone, for the final game of the first round. Be safe and be smart. Take care, everyone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.